Hi, I'm Hayden and this is Natalie. Natalie's a primate key keeper here at Taronga Zoo. Natalie and I have known each other for about 25 years as well. Very long time. We're standing in front of our <laughs> wonderful chimpanzee group, Nats. Could you please tell us a little bit about what's going on in the, in the society here? I certainly can, Hayden. Uh, so we have 20 chimpanzees in this troop. That makes it one of the largest and most successful breeding groups of chimpanzees in the world. So chimpanzee society is dynamic. Um, it changes rapidly. There's alliances, there's coalitions, there's family groups, there's um, hierarchy. So there's high ranking, there's low ranking. And our troop has been very stable over the last, I'd say, long time, a couple of... Um, 20, decades, 20, yeah. 20, yeah. decades, 20 years longer. Um, we had Lobutu, he was our alpha male for 18 years. So he's, he's developed this group that is really cohesive. Unfortunately, at the beginning of December, he suddenly died. So this group is in a state of flux. We have five adult males. Um, there's no clear indication which of those adult males is our alpha at the moment. And are you studying every one of those uh, those males' behaviours? We are. So we're, we're getting as much data as we can. And right now you can hear someone displaying. There we go. So the boys are putting on a show oh, for us. Yeah. So the boys are displaying. So we can hear, we can hear them. We can hear the commotion, and this is this is obviously you would know, but very normal behaviour yes, for male absolutely chimpanzees. Normal behavior. So if um, if we were thinking that the oldest male within the troop had the right to be the next alpha, we would be wrong. So it doesn't work like that. And if we were thinking that the largest male might end up the alpha because he's the largest, we'd be wrong as well. So there's there's a lot of um, a lot of factors that that feed into who becomes the alpha male in a chimpanzee society. I don't think our boys quite know if they want that position. They don't quite know how to take over that position. So we're just watching and we're waiting and we're trying to assess what they're, what they're up to. Yeah. So what we can hear going on in the background right now, that's is a lot of theatrics, a lot of displaying, a lot of individuals running around, a male throwing his weight around a little bit. Yep. Who's that running away? So Shona is upset. So Shona is now looking for support. So she's looking to the males. She's, she's um, there we go. So now Shabani is upset. So Shabani has, um, has, has been upset by Shikamu, who's sitting just in front of us here. So he's one of our adult males. So they're all a little bit excited. You can see, you know, they, they fluff Fluffed up. their hair yep, up. If you can see that face, that's amazing. He sat right here in front of us after a display like that. Now yep. it's all that love, fluffed up hair, yep. looking even bigger than he is. That's right. Looking big, looking impressive and looking like don't mess with me. So um, we see, we're seeing not too to over the top behavior but we do see a lot of displaying so okay. i think the boys are still working out how how things are going to progress in the future that's really interesting to watch and yeah. that all just happened right in front of our very eyes now that's some of those boys would be trying to you said before not not necessarily the biggest not necessarily yeah. the strongest or the oldest yeah but potentially the one that builds the best relationships that's with right. the high-ranking females, that's correct? That's right, that's right. Talk us through that. So a male could come into that position of alpha by bullying his way in. He could, he could um, be quite forceful and take that position. But if he does not have the support of the high-ranking females within the troop, he's not likely to keep that position. So the females have a lot of power in who they will support. So who will, they will allow to mate with them, um, who they will sit and groom and build alliances with and who they will support in times of conflict. So that's thank you so much. I mean, we could go on for hours, but we're going to bring more stories like just like that from the keepers from these amazing animals we have here at Taronga. So follow us, like us and subscribe because you never know what's around the next corner. Thanks, Nats. No worries.